effective writing skills is so important because why? They can either make or break your career. Studies show, and this is not just me, you can go down Google the net. Studies show that employers rank the ability to communicate as the number one skill needed to be hired or to be promoted. And that's why Now, we're going to go through three models this evening. Module one would be read, write, sorry, write to be read. The second modules, I will be going through the three C's of business writing. And module three, how you can write in the 21st century English. Right. Now, when we want to write, that is the purpose of us writing. When we write, we want when we write, we want what we have written to be read. And effective communication is so, so very important. Right on to module number two, the three scenes of business writing. The first one, not just business writing, in any form of writing, you have to be clear. Your message must be easily understood in one reading. Remember, I repeat, the person you're writing to is not just going to read your writing. He has so many things to look at, so many other things to read. The next C is to be coherent. What does coherent mean? Staff is now eligible for a monthly award. Work will begin next month on expanding the South parking lot. I do not know what this message is all about. Okay, now this is not a mix, this is not a made up message. This was a message received by one of my friends from his boss. How I would have written it is, would be this. Staff is now eligible for a monthly productivity award. What award? For a monthly productivity award. And what has the parking lot expansion got to do with the award? It's, it's disconnected, it's disjointed. This is where transition is important. In addition, work on expanding the south parking lot will begin next month. Isn't that a lot clearer? Right, the third C. What would the third C be? Is to be complete. We need to be complete. When we are complete, again, I want to emphasize this. Know what the, need, the reader already knows, does not know, and need to know. You must know what the reader already knows, does not know, and needs to know. Then you can be complete. Here is one. Just a reminder to sales managers that our monthly Friday meeting will begin as usual. Be sure to bring your latest sales figure and come prepared to discuss the three products mentioned last week. This person who wrote this, obviously the boss, has assumed that the reader knows what he knows, but the reader does not know what he knows. As usual, if I were a new manager, if I, think of, if I were not in the last meeting, when they say as usual, when is as usual, please do not use words like this in communication unless the person really, really knows what as usual means. What time? Where? How long? Which Friday? You say mid Friday, you are assuming that the person will know that it is that Friday. And you're talking about the products. Which products? What are the three products? And you want to discuss. There's no agenda. What are we discussing? 